So we're at Cloud Native Telco Day in London. I'm talking with Philippe Onsage. He is VP of Software Engineering at uh, Orange. Uh, Philippe, great to see you. Thanks very much for taking time to talk to us today. My great pleasure to be with you. So uh, what does being cloud native mean to Orange? So being cloud native telco at Orange, I would say is about thinking, building, designing, deploying, and running, I would say, scalable, flexible, resilient, and secure infrastructure for our core to run as services. So, you know, we are on telecom industry on a journey where we are uh, pivoting from the PNF world to the VNF world to the CNF world, so to the cloud native network function world. So today, uh, I would say that um, this cloud native and the GitOps operating model related is 100% uh, the foundation that we are pushing at Orange for what we are calling the horizontal model approach, where we want to get out the very vertical and proprietary model. So cloud native is absolutely at the heart of, uh, I would say, the, the, the telco cloud strategy at Orange. Now, um, uh, Orange has been involved for quite a while already with uh, Project Silver. Um, how important is Project Silver to Orange and other European telcos? who are trying to uh, achieve uh, cloud native. Okay, so Silver is very, very important to us and for, uh, I would say, a lot of other peers uh, within the, the telecom industry. The reason is quite simple. We are using open source as a catalyst. We are sharing resources. We are working together on the commons to have time to make us uh, to what makes us very special, if I may say. So we are with the Silva project, that is a Linux Foundation hosted uh, project. We are aimed at building what we may call a cloud native telco industrial grade implementation. And the idea is to bring the engine to make uh, the network function on the core, on the run, at the edge working. By book, we can, um, I would say, uh, define Silva as three things. So we got a framework where we define, I would say, um, most of the requirements that we um, as a telco need when we are building, I would say, uh, cloud native telco infrastructure. Uh, the second one uh, that for me is absolutely incremental is to have a reference implementation. I don't know uh, any kind of open source project running without, I would say, a reference implementation. So we have a reference implementation. And today, we are supporting, I would say, several open source Kubernetes flavor. We got the vanilla, we got the one from Red Hat, the one from Canonical, the one from, from Suzy with, with, with Rancher, for instance. And the last thing that is uh, very, very important in Silva is the validation center approach. Because you know that in telco industry, we have the history of having network function qualified, certified, and validated on a specific, I would say, infrastructure requirement. So within Silva, we have this validation center approach also that is extremely important. So to wrap up, we got a framework, a reference implementation, and a validation center approach. And why is it so much important for Orange and other peers? Because at Orange today, our Orange Telco Cloud uh, CAS is 100% build, I would say, on a Silva flavor. So it means that today, uh, what we are running in terms of CNF is running on a hardened and secured, I would say, Silva Orange implementation in our own infrastructure. If I want to share with you some figures, I can say that today, I think that the Silva um, uh, deployment is about 10 plus percent of what we are running, and it will be more than 60 plus percent by 2030. 10%, you may say it's not so big, but we need to remind that, remember what, uh, what I shared previously, PNF, VNF, CNF. So we are on a journey where we have this legacy modernization. And today, what is very cloud native is mainly around 5G and 5G core and packet core. So I think that we can expect a lot of progress in terms of deployment in the coming three to five years. Well, that's great to hear that this is something that's being taken into action, into networks, into production, and isn't just a, an idea and something that's talked about. That, that's great to hear. Um, now, obviously, uh, uh, Orange and some of the other major operators are quite well advanced with their cloud-native strategies, but 
Is the telco sector in general where it needs to be in terms of cloud native adoption? I really love this question. Um, my, my, I really believe that we are more on a marathon that, that than on a sprint. You know, um, telecom industry is living in a sliding window back five to ten years to what we may have in cloud or in digital. And, 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 and it's okay. We, we just need to take into account that we have a lot of legacy that is moving. I observed a lot of progress in the last, I would say, three to four years. And being cloud native for me is at least three things. It's about, it's about the, the runtime, the engine. It's about the deployment and the life cycle management of the network function and the operating model. And in the fact you really, I would say, rely on true cloud native implemented network function. If I want to just be, um, uh, to give information about those three levels, I would say that today um, I'm observing telecom peers very, very, very serious on implementing true cloud native infrastructure. We got very interesting progress on the life cycle management deployment of the infra and network function. And here, once again, we are using the uh, cloud native operating model, GitOps. We are using GitOps to manage the, the, the life cycle and a lot of progress is currently made on this part. The last, I would say, miles that we need to really cover is the C in CNF doesn't stand for container, but for cloud native. So it means that today we really need from our partners, the network function vendors, to have truly think, design, implemented network function that are able to really take the full power of the cloud native infrastructure we are currently building. So we are on a shift of a whole ecosystem. It's about the operator, the vendors, and the integrators. And we will be only successful if we succeed to manage, I would say, um, the same, the, the, the right pace of the, 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 the whole ecosystem. And what would you say are the main barriers to the acceleration of cloud native adoption in the telco sector? For me, um, th there are three main barriers, if I, if I may say. The first one definitively is about the skills for a very simple reason. Because even if a network function remains from 3GPP uh, definition, a network function, all that is surrounding has changed. It's 100% software-based, open, automated, and all the cloud native, I would say, lifecycle management and deployment. So uh, it means that uh, when you want to enter into the cloud native telco ecosystem, uh, it, it has a serious impact on the skills of the team. So, so you need really to upskill and to reskill, I would say, on software, automation, on, 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 on container, on the, on the DevOps uh, thing. Uh, it's, it's, it's really my, my, the first barrier, I may say. The second one is definitively, for me, the integrating challenges. Because today, um, you know, as operator, we are using and having a lot of different partners. And we have very, very different level of maturity in terms of cloud nativeness implementation of the network function. So honestly, it's, 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 it's not so easy from the integration standpoint. And I would say that the whole ecosystem is making progress as a whole in this uh, area. The last one, I would say, could be on the, on the operation side. Because when you may have, uh, I would say, PNF, VNF, and CNF that are running inside, I would say, um, the same uh, telecom operator infrastructure, the challenges are very, very, very different. So it means that we, 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 we certainly um, need to uh, make progress into, I would say, the holistic uh, observability uh, view of our operation. What would you like to see happen next that can help to further accelerate cloud native telco adoption? So I think that what we could uh, really help us in terms of acceleration for the cloud native telco is several things. I would say that first, we certainly need, I would say, better certification and validation that are more cloud native and, and, and really relying on the true software, I would say, um, uh, posture. This one is important. The second one is we really need to have the network function vendors behaving like software vendors. So we need to rely, I would say, on 
a proper deployment uh, descriptors, we need to rely on a trusted public repo or OCI repo where we can just pull the artifact we need to have automation in the deployment. Um, we, we can also perhaps have a, a, a very last important one. It's the end-to-end -end observability. Because when you are stacking the infrastructure up to a whole the network function you need to make a 5G running, uh, it's, it's very huge and, and, and it may be extremely siloed. We really need to have an observability that uh, help us to manage or to troubleshoot when we need it, the full stack end-to-end. -end. And here, once again, I truly believe that cloud native um, ecosystem with the way I would say cloud native application could be made observable, we could have serious hints that need to be uh, followed in this, uh, in this journey. Okay, excellent. Well, Philippe, thanks very much for giving us uh, all of those great insights into how the cloud native telco sector is developing and look forward to catching up with you again in the future. Thank you. Thanks for having me.